Hello everyone, welcome back to Six Days of Sacrifice. It's time to resume our hunt for the pencil. The pencil of destiny. You know what I'm really hoping? I'm really hoping I have to like go over to the other realm or whatever to find this pencil. I want to be able to say I retrieved an interdimensional pencil to solve a puzzle. That's something I just really want to be able to say. I need that in my life. I need it. I think that's supposed to be a keyboard, but I keep thinking it's a note. That little thing right there to the left of the monitor. If it is a keyboard, it's very oddly placed. It's about 90 degrees from the monitor. Anyway. Alright, so what did I just get? I got a staple. Yeah, basically what I've gained by coming in here is a staple. And, and a notepad that I need a pencil or something like that to use. Or to get anything from. Mm-hmm. Indentations and a series of numbers I can't quite make out. I'm not really sure what these two things are going to get me, but I need to find a pencil or something like that. What can I do with a staple? A rather heavy-duty industrial staple. Okay, it's industrial. It's good. I could maybe use that for the electrical panel in some way to bridge some sort of a gap or something like that. If I ever end up getting it open. What did I just do? I just try to use it on something, apparently. I'm really suspicious about this circle, too. I feel like there's something behind it, but I can't seem to use it. And I don't have anything sharp, aside from the staple, which I've already tried to use, and it doesn't work, so I think it's time to leave. I don't believe I can do anything with the camera, either. No. Unless I can get on top of the filing cabinet and then reach the camera. But what would I do with it? Plus, I don't think I can get on top of the filing cabinet because my leg is broken. And my arm. And my neck. Right. Pencil. Pencil, 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 pencil. My ultimate goal is to get into the hub room. To do that, I need a pencil. If I only had a pencil. Any one of these coats have a pencil? Search the pockets, you dingus. Fine. No pencils. Alright, see if Janine has one. Janine? Yes? I guess I can't even ask her about it. Uh, what do you think we should do now? Not sure, we should ask Sam. Okay. And I still can't get the fridge open, can I? Hmm. Anything I could microwave? My phone! That's the solution, microwave my phone. Oh. Never mind. Pray to the god of pain? Okay, back to my hunt for the pencil. Someone's got to have a pencil, right? I mean, come on. P people have writing utensils. Tools. That's a thing people have. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Burnt. Burnt. Bernie. Burn burnt. Bin. Bernie burnt bin. Hold on. Idea. Would that be of any help? Nothing in it but ashes. But ashes might be useful. Could you rub ash on something like that? No. Eh, maybe. A piece of charcoal would be nice, but yeah, that's just ash, not charcoal. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing on the desk. Don't think there's going to be a pencil in the medical cabinet. <laughs> what am I going to be doing with that staple? Hmm. 
Perhaps I can write with blood. No. And that still looks like part of a password there. Can't do anything with it, though. Or can I? I can manually enter the code. I could try to guess, guess the last number, if that's... Would that really be the password to it? It could be. Alright, 287. Shit, maybe I should try that. Could it be that simple? Two eight seven something. Two eight seven one. Eight seven two. Two eight seven three. Go away. No, use. Two eight seven four. This is exciting. <laughs> two eight seven five. Six. Seven. This is becoming increasingly unlikely. Now it's very unlikely. Two, eight, seven, nine. Nope. I almost grabbed her again. Nope, talk to her. Is there something I'm supposed to be doing? Mm-hmm. All right, that is not helpful at all, but thank you. Thank you for your lack of help. That's probably still locked. Poke it with a staple. That didn't work. Of course not. That's probably still locked. Oh, no. It's not locked anymore. Okay, <laughs> that changes everything. Why did it unlock? Just spontaneously unlocked? Oh right, for plot. It unlocked because of plot. Okay, that's... well, that's gotta be it. Cool. Alright, now we're in business. In the solving puzzles business. It doesn't pay very much, but it's satisfying. Current input, review input, download current image. Okay, huh. There's a bunch of stuff I can do. Current input, what does that do? Oh, does it freeze the current input? Zoom in. Okay. Current input. Hmm. Review input? That seems to do the same thing as current input. Strange. Download current image. I downloaded the image on my cell phone. Does that mean I could send it to her? Otherwise, how would I access the... Uh, whatever. Anyway, let's look at different cameras. If I can't find anything worth a damn, there's no point in trying to save it. So, one step at a time, huh? Camera one. Current input. Yeah, what does current input do? Review input doesn't do anything. Alright, let's take a look. Looks like a part of a corridor, but not the one outside. Must be another part of the complex I don't have access to. Okay, let's look closer. There's something on the screen right now that I'm having particular trouble seeing. Okay. Camera 2. I think it's a barracks or some kind of storage facility. Closer look. Nothing. 3. Large glass tubes standing in a row against a wall. I can't make head or tail of it. Nothing. That was three, right? Yeah. Oh, that's the office. That's Kenning's office. I recognize the layout of things on his desk. Yep. Probably nothing worth seeing. I can see the blank notepad pretty clearly now, but I don't see how that helps. Yeah, it doesn't. That does not help at all. And the last one, which has restricted, which means I'm screwed. <sighs> Alright, how many digits? 
four. All right. Which is probably what's on his notepad. That seems likely, so I think I need to solve the notepad problem before I can solve the main chamber blast door problem. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. Let's see if this is spontaneously opened. Nope. Can I fuck with this? Nope. Current input review. I don't understand what those options are about. Whoa! Oh, review input. That It's looking in the past. But how far in the past? Minutes, hours, days, weeks, months? What? It's switching... Yeah, it's switching between now and then. Whenever then is. Okay. In that case, let's go back to camera one and let's... Yeah, look at the past. Review. I mean, something could probably pop up if there's something to see, but just in case, I'll try looking at each one. Review. Nothing. Let's be thorough. So there's nothing there. Go away. I hate you. Yeah, it seems like the fourth one is the only one I have access to at the moment that actually has something on review. That's probably just canning. This must be old footage. It shows canning working at his desk. There's something written on the notepad on the corner of the desk, but I can't quite make it out. Oh, okay. I... Oh, I'm not going to get my interstellar planetary space multidimensional pencil. Damn it. All right. That's it. I can make out the number on the notepad. 7759. Ooh, maybe this is the passcode for the blast door. Nope, it's not. No way. It's probably the passcode to this. Actually, let me make sure I got that right. 7795, right? Or was it 7759? Oh, God, do it again. <laughs> I skipped it. 59. Ah, I wrote it backwards. Kind of. I knew something seemed off about it. I was like, I was only paying half attention when he was actually saying the password, because I was too excited about my pencil and finding the password that I, yeah, messed it up. Alright, 7759. Oh, maybe it is for that thing. Yeah, I... Yep. Alright, to the blast door. I still swear that's part of a code there. 287, 287. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 287. Why don't I try that here? 2871. Two, eight, seven, two. Hmm. I know this is riveting. I'm not sure which ones I've done at this point. I think I've just got one more to go. Eight, seven, nine. Okay, whatever. One of these days, I'll find out what that probable passcode is for. Seven, seven, five, nine. Oh, excellent work, Mr. DeCabe. I wouldn't have thought, uh, I wouldn't have thought a bureaucrat would have such a head on his shoulders. I hope that was a compliment. Now, I think we need to turn both wheels simultaneously. Can you manage? It's no use. I'd need both hands free. 
I see. Then we're going to need another pair of hands. Janine! Leave it to me, I guess. Alright, Janine. Well, I need either you as a whole person, or I need your hands. So if you don't come with me, I'm afraid I'm going to have to chop them off, okay? What the hell's in here, by the way? I feel like there's still some doors I haven't been into. Which actually is true, I think there's only one. At least in the main hallway. Aside from the last... that's getting confusing, never mind. There's the science place, then there's the back of the electrical room, then there's the blast doors. I also haven't opened the fridge, although I don't know if I ever can or if it's relevant. Probably not. Okay. We need your help to open the hub. Oh. I don't think I could. You have to, Janine. You're the only one who can help. We'll just get it open, then we can get out. I know, but what if I run into him? Look, there's no one else around. Kenning is in the cell. His guard... His guard is dead. Dead? Aside from us three, nothing else is moving, I'm certain. Come on now. This is our ticket out. Uh, okay. I'll be there soon. Ready? Let's get the hell out of here. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's dark. I don't like darkness. It doesn't look like an elevator to me. I don't see anything. Wait here. I'll check it out. Uh, please find a light switch. Please find a light switch. Do you trust her? Do you? I would if you gave me any reason to. I know what you mean. But right now, she seems like our best hope of getting out of here. Even so, there's got to be a reason why she doesn't want us to know about her work. And I'm not sure we should trust her to go in there alone. Hey, after you, man. <laughs> Okay, Dr. Hardy. Uh... Aren't you gonna say something? I can't think of anything. I can. We're going to die down here. Don't say that. We're not going to die. If we can get back into the hub... You don't get it. He won't... He won't let us out. He won't let me out. You have to stop him. What are you talking about? I see you. I see what you are. You're the one who did this to me. I didn't do anything to you. Why won't you stop him? How many times do you have to kill him? Janine, you're not making any sense. You're mistaking me for someone else. Mr. DeCape? Yes. I'm sorry, I... Leave me alone. Janine! I wouldn't go out there if I were you. Night has fallen. The prince is on patrol. What about Janine? She's in no danger. At least, not from him. Remain here until morning. Tell me who you are. Are you with a cult? My identity is meaningless. I'm just an avatar. And I have no allegiances. If you're not with a cult, help us get out of here. It'll go badly for you if you don't. There's going to be some serious police action after this, I promise you. I cannot do that. Why not? Because that is not how it goes. Oh, give me strength. You seem very confident that you will escape from this place. Of course I am. Why? Because if I wasn't, I'd go insane. I'd resist. <laughs> Screw you, whoever you are. Okay. Well, the hub seems to be my only way out, but if you walk in there, you die, so that kind of sucks. 
I didn't know who you were, Dr. Hardy, or what you were hiding from me. But I know you didn't deserve this. And as soon as we get out of here, I'll make sure you're buried properly. You know what I'm thinking? She's probably got the keycard to the science wing. In her lab coat. Hmm. All right, can I turn on, the, turn on the privacy screen or something? No. Oh, I need to go to sleep. It won't open. Okay, I can't leave. What if I try to leave? Just won't open. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have come out here. Y yeah, that was a bad idea. Why didn't he prevent me from leaving like he did last time? Who the hell are you? Aren't you me? Who the hell do you think you are? Oh god. Stop this. Stop what? You're the one pretending to be me. Sleep. Day 3. July 26th, AD 2189. Oh, my head. I don't remember falling asleep. I've got to find out what's in the hub. Before anyone else tries to go inside it again. I'm really thinking she has I'm really thinking she has a key card on her. Uh, uh, yeah. Who are you? Can you tell me where I am? You're, you're dead. I saw you die. Dead? Yes, I remember being dead. But I don't remember you. Y your guts were torn out. The blood's still on the floor. Honestly? Huh. Perhaps it's best that I don't remember. So where am I? This is impossible. Are you going to answer my questions anytime soon? Um. Hi, Trilby clone. Well, we know... Chozo, or the Prince, or I guess probably both of them, like pain and misery and extending it for as long as possible. Is this his... Trilby's... Punishment? They're making him live his death again and again? I feel like I just saved it, but oh well. I'll do it again. Yes? Who are you? My name is Trilby. It is Trilby! That much I know. Even that sole fact isn't sufficient, though. I get the feeling I have, or had, other names in the past. Trilby the Cat Burglar. Cat Burglar? Yes, that was one of my names. You can't possibly be Trilby. Nevertheless, I'm certain that Trilby is my name. But... Trilby died hundreds of years ago. And I already told you. I remember that I was dead. So your statement only further reinforces my claim. That doesn't make any sense. And yet, here we are. <laughs> okay, how did you come back to life? I don't know yet. You do know that resurrection is completely impossible, right? I thought I knew it. Recent events are forcing me to reassess this, however. All I know is that I was dead, and now I'm alive again. Refusing to believe this will not answer my questions. You don't remember working for the Order? Order? The Order of Blessed Agonies? Agonies? I remember something. I get a name. John Defoe. He, he's important in some way. 
In fact, I think I spent many years researching him. I've never heard that name before. You don't remember why you were working for the Order? I'm afraid not. So what do you remember? Not much. A few flashes now and then, images and sounds, no dates or details attached. I remember John Defoe, as I said. And from that name, a few other memories return. Standing on a hill, watching something burning in the distance. My hands covered in blood. And then, a place that was two places at once. I'm lying on something hard, my stomach really hurts, and someone is talking to me. But it's mostly a fog, up until the moment I woke up here. So you woke up here? Well, not right here. I just felt myself gravitate to this spot. Like something important happened here. Yes. This is where you were killed. So you said yes. I suppose I would explain it. Maybe you should look around where you woke up. Uh, what was your name again? DeCabe. Theodore DeCabe. You've been a great help, Mr. DeCabe. Excuse me, won't you? Well, that was a surreal conversation. It looks like we're even more in the other realm now. Yeah, and I can even more clearly see the password here. 287. You know, I was assuming that 287 was the beginning of it, but it could be the last three numbers, I suppose, for the security camera. Oh, shit. The science wing is open. Is that where Trilby went? Uh... Is this human cloning? Have they been cloning Trilby? Is that what she's working on? Okay, well... Yeah. This is where he woke up. Yes? What is this place? No idea. But this is where I woke up. I've never seen technology like this. Hmm. What year is it? It's 2189. Oh. I can't remember what year it was the last time I checked. But I'm pretty sure I've lost a century or two somewhere along the way. Anything coming back? Nothing from this room. But the more I think about the name John Defoe, it's like there's something scrabbling at the back of my mind. I feel I'm on the verge of rediscovering something terrible. Something that almost destroyed me. Listen. This complex is dangerous. I think there's something haunting us. It's already killed someone. We need to find a way out of here. And go where? All the answers I seek are here. I just have to find them. You could be killed. Death didn't stop me last time, apparently. If what you say is true, you're the... You're the one who should be worrying. Can you help me open a door? Let's not do that just yet. That's not Trilby's hat, is it? It wouldn't suit me. There's something awfully familiar about it. I think that's Trilby's hat. Huh. There is a security camera in here. I could... I think one of the security cams showed these tubes, right? I could look at it and look at the old footage to see when he was... When he awoke. 
Hmm. There was a similar book in the sleeping quarters. Oh, more religious creepiness? At this time, another came to the tree. That was the prince's soul, and this other was of the faith, but blinded by pride. And so he was the prideful acolyte. And the prideful acolyte threw down the guide. And subjecting the guide to the blessed agony of the body, he called forth the prince. And the prince crossed over to the land of technology. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I'm pretty sure this is talking about Trilby. The prideful acolyte, wouldn't that be the... Uh, the rival, the supposed rival investigator from the last game, the one that stabbed me. I forgot his name. It's something kind of weird. Um, yeah, I don't remember it. That sounds like him. Threw down the guide and subjecting the guide to the blessed agony of the body. And the prince was much displeased, for the prideful acolyte would, in his arrogance, interfere with the destiny of the guide. And so he threw down the prideful acolyte, and the prideful acolyte became the puppet, and knew the name of the king. Hmm. Would interfere with the destiny of the guide. Right, because I died. And with great fear did the guide take up the soul of the bridgekeeper. Immune to its influence, for the bridgekeeper was also greatly fearful. And he hid the soul of the bridgekeeper away, to a place where it would meet its final destiny. Hmm. The soul of the bridgekeeper... Is that the caretaker? Hm. And the prince and the puppet took their message to the Order of Blessed Agonies. A glass cylindrical tube just about big enough for a human to stand in. It's no technology I recognize. Right, well this one seems to actually have someone in it. There's someone in there, with skin as white as alabaster. I can't make out any features. I don't think they have any. I'm not sure I want to disturb their sleep. It's spotless. It looks like it's been completely scrubbed clean. Wait, what is that on the lab table? There's nothing on it and no cabinets. Well, there's something on it. What is that? Hmm. Oh, well. It's part of the complex intranet. Can I use it? Most of the hard drive is scrubbed. Only one file left. I'll add it to my journal. Oh, we're back here. Alright, the Clan Bronwyn Hotel incident took the soul of the bridgekeeper from us and delayed the coming of the king for hundreds of years. But at the same time, it brought the prince to us with the solution already in hand. Whoa. Took the soul of the bridgekeeper from us. Am I the bridgekeeper? I mean, not, not me, the current player, but... Uh, Trilby? Or Trilby the guide? I'm pretty sure Trilby's the guide. But if the soul of the bridgekeeper is the caretaker, then they need his soul for the opening. Hmm. The prophecy in the books of Chozo demands that the guide assists the creation of the bridge. Obviously, he could not do that if he was long since dead of old age. But the sample of his blood provided by the prince was enough to ensure that the guide would exist for more than long enough to fulfill his destiny. Oh god, that it, yeah, the guide is Trilby. <laughs> would exist for more than long enough to fulfill his destiny. His memories are hazy, though. I think with every copy of them that they've made, it's been weaker and weaker. Is it becoming less and less Trilby-like as they clone him? Throughout the years? What a shit existence. Born again, die, born again, die, born again, die. <laughs> Fulfill his destiny. 
Well, let's hope we can stop his destiny from being fulfilled. I can see some vials of blood and plasma in there. And some lumps of tissue in petri dishes. I can't see any possible use for any of the stuff in there. So there's nothing I can do in here? Nothing at all? Just a hat that I can't use. Not my style. Alright, yeah, I really want to check that security footage. Let's see if this is magically opened. Nothing. I'll check the others just in case. I suppose I could download that to my phone? Sure, why not? <laughs> now that I'm going to use it. Hmm. Alright, there's still this 287. I'm pretty sure that's... that's it. That's gotta be it. Alright, let's assume it's the last three digits. 287. I know, once again, very riveting. Not looking good. Forecast is cloudy. Hmm. The code has to be used for something. I mean, come on, it's right there. Look at that. 287. 287. It's taunting you. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe it's 782. That'd be kind of weird, but then again, you know. It is a message from another realm made in blood. That's kind of weird. I'm not going to try that just now, though. Let's look around and see if anything's changed. Yeah, you. Let's see if I can find Janine. Jesus, I wonder if she's alive. I could try calling her. See if I can find her first. Oh, yeah. Hi. I forgot about you. What have you been up to? Back again. Huh. Your guard seems to be alive again. So, you think he rose from the grave? I don't know what to think. Thinking is something you need to do more of, boy. He doesn't remember working for you. Of course not. He never does. Were I not trapped in here, I would have been able to give him his usual instructions. How many times have you had to do that? Your questions bore me. Come back if you ever figure anything out. Hmm. Mm, shut up now! 
Okay, cool, it worked. Dr. Hardy is dead. Reap what you sow. Doesn't that bother you in the slightest? You and your whole insane order are accessories to murder. Once we get out of here, you're going to do a lot of time for this. Your words are like the warbles of a sparrow. The Order of Blessed Agonies fears no mortal agency. We are under divine protection. What do you mean, protection? We are under the guiding hand of God. The King. Chozo. And when he enters this world... I don't even know why I'm talking to you. You're just a brainwashed lunatic. Your words are sounding hollow even to you, are they not? Tell me what Dr. Hardy was doing here. You mean you still haven't figured it out? I'd be disappointed if I felt even a shred of respect for you. Just tell me. We were allowing her to fulfill her chosen role. In this case, the field of biochemistry. Who can ask for anything more? Who is John Defoe? Ah, now we're getting somewhere. John Defoe is the bridge keeper. Oh. It is through him that the king will enter our world. Where is he? He's all around us. Then again, he's also drifting off somewhere in deep space. Give me a straight answer for God's sake. There's no straight answer to your question. Why do you ask it, anyway? Trilby told me the name. It's just about the only thing he remembers. Mere words will not fully restore a lost memory. A picture does a better job. What picture? I'll tell you what. If you can figure out by yourself what work Dr. Hardy was doing for us, I'll help you. Right, well, I've already figured out what he was, what she was doing. I figured out what Dr. Hardy was doing. Do tell. Hmm. Cryogenicist. Uh, no. Cloner. That's a weird turn. That's a weird phrase, though. A cloner. But yeah. I think she was a cloner. You had her creating multiple copies of Trilby. And when I thought I saw him come back to life, it was just a different clone. Congratulations! Now, the more complex question. Why? What would we need clones of this particular individual for? I... I don't know. You don't know anything about the Defoe Manor incident? The Glen Bronwyn Hotel incident? No. Huh. Forget it, then. Alright. You wanted to know what could jog his memory? Here's my advice. A newborn often reacts posit positively to an image of its mother. That's all you can give me? That's all I intend to give you. I'm not your personal advisor, boy. Wonderful. Okay. The mother of Trilby. I'm not sure whether I should take that literally or more figuratively. If I'm taking it figuratively, then I suppose the mother would be... Sam? Samantha? Why would that jog his memory, though? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I guess I was right. Where can I find a picture of Dr. Hardy? What am I, her secretary? I don't know whether you noticed, but she was wearing one the whole time you knew her. Oh. Right, the name tag thing. Okay, this is a pointless option, but uh, let's do it anyway. I'm prepared to negotiate your release. How utterly tiresome. Just answer my questions. Without deviating from the subject. Without personal attacks or evasive uh, evasion or dogma. And promise to cooperate with us. Freedom is too small a reward for such betrayal. 
You are just a wretched man. You can barely stand on your own legs. I have the ear of the king. Oh, that wasn't pointless. Okay. What's in the hub? Very little. Very little of anything corporeal, anyway. What does that mean? It means that most standard scientific tests would indicate that the hub is largely empty. And what is in there has absolutely no purpose. But we, the followers of the true way, no different. This isn't helping at all. I didn't intend it to. What's the purpose of this facility? Now, you know I'm not going to answer that. No, and I know why. It's because you don't know, do you? You're just as much a patsy in this as we are. Now you're just wasting breath. So why have the Order abandoned you down here? My brethren have given me this responsibility as a gesture of recognition and respect. Something you, of course, would know nothing about. Why is the main corridor changing? In what way is it changing? You know. It's turning into some kind of dungeon, I suppose. Filthy walls and floor. Blood splatters everywhere. Now, how could I know that? I've been stuck in here this whole time. So, you say changes before your very eyes. Are you hearing voices, too? Forget it. Shut up now. Alright, should go to Dr. Hardy's body soon, but I really do want to find Janine. The door won't open. Janine must have locked herself in. Oh, shit. Alright, let me try to call her. What the hell? It says here, Samantha's phone is still switched on. What? I'm almost certain we turned it off before laying her out. Uh... Okay... Samantha? What the fuck? Who is this? Two... S R... One... What the fuck? I can't... They hung up. What the hell? That is creepy as hell. Okay. Seems to be a password. Two. Seven. Four. One. Two, seven, four, one. More and more bloodstains every day. That's Samantha's blood. By the time she was dead, she had lost virtually all of it. Two seven four one. Well, let's try it. Oh, <laughs> it worked. It's some kind of wide circular chamber viewed from above. This must be the hub. Strange. From the look of it, there's nothing in it but the remains of some old ruined building. Old ruined building. I don't suppose in that building there's like a big tree stump or something, is there? Look closer. No, can't. Alright. Current input. Whoa. There's no current input? Was I looking at review? No, what the hell? 2741. Why did it disappear? Can I not change to review input? No, I can't. I can't do anything. Can I download it? Oh. 
Okay, there we go. I downloaded the image onto my cell phone. Huh. Yeah, I can't use current input or review input. It just disappears. Turns to snow. What does that mean? Is it just, like, buggy? Or does that mean that I can't look at it in the present or in the past? I don't even know. Alright, let's grab her name tag. I think the ID card she wore on her lab coat bore her picture. If I can just retrieve it... Damn, it isn't here. Where did it go? What the fuck? So her cell phone and her ID are both gone. Why? Why would somebody take that? All right, let me try to call Janine. Okay, she actually answered. Where are you? I'm in the sleeping quarters. And don't tell me to come out. I don't understand anything that's happening. I don't even remember how I got here. Are you alright? Yes. No. No, I'm not alright. Sam is dead. I know, but... Sam is dead, and I think I'm going mad. Why do you say that? I remember Sam dying. I remember taking her to the medical bay. But then everything goes black. I'm scared. Something happened to you last night. You were there? What did I do? You were acting odd. Like you were someone else. And you were talking to me like I, like I was someone else. Oh god. I remember. I remember talking to you. But it wasn't me. It was like looking through the eye holes of a mask. And I knew that the thing I was... Ah, it makes me feel so sick. Like looking through the eye holes of a mask. I don't suppose it'd be a welding mask, would it? Hmm. Do you have Dr. Hardy's ID card? I just wanted to remember her in, in some way. Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. Can I borrow it? I'm not coming out. Could you just open the door a second to pass it to me? No. Anything could get in. God damn it. Is there a camera in the... The place where she is? Could I have her, like, hold it up to the camera and take a picture of it? Hmm. I've seen what's inside the hub. You have? Can you show me? I've got the image on my phone. I'm sending it to you now. I see it. There's nothing to be afraid of, see? It's just some old ruin. Whatever killed Dr. Hardy is gone now. Yes, I see. It's funny, but... When I see this, I don't feel so afraid. Like I'm seeing a place where... Where I can find peace at last. Will you help me get there? Uh, sure, but you'll have to come out of the sleeping quarters. Fine. I'll wait for you outside the hub. We have to get in there. Wait, why does she so suddenly want to go there? She said there's a place where she can find peace. What the hell? And before, it was like she was looking through the eye holes of a mask. I don't think that's a good thing. It sounds like she's being possessed. I hate it when they're just staring at a wall, because I keep imagining they're going to turn around and, like, their eyes will have been pecked out by crows or something.
Do you notice any changes in the main corridor? No, I don't. Honestly? Yes. Y you don't see it. Transforming. Becoming some kind of dungeon. Brick walls, blood everywhere, dirt floor. What are you talking about? Isn't it always like that? Isn't it always like... Whoa, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's what she's used to. What the hell? That sounds like she's, what, John Defoe? That's the name of the boy, right? You know, the one that was kept chained up? The one whose spirit is in the idol? Okay, well. Do you have Dr. Hardy's ID card? I just wanted to remember her in some way. Yeah, alright. Uh, sure. Thanks. It's Dr. Hardy's photo ID. She looks as serious as always. Show it to Trilby. Take a look at this picture. Who is this? Samantha Hardy? Do you know her? Hardy. Maybe. There's something about her face. Could I meet her? She's dead. Hardy. Dead. I... Oh, Jesus. It wasn't me. It used my hands, but it wasn't me. What? I'm so sorry, Philip. You didn't... You didn't deserve... Why are you doing this to us? Calm down. You're freaking out. I apologize. Some memories returned with a suddenness that caught me off guard. Nothing that answers why I'm in this facility, however. Listen, I need your help. There's a door that needs two people to open it. I think that behind it we can both find the answers we seek. That seems a good place to start as any. Please, lead the way. I'm back, Janine. Good, let's... Uh... Ah! Stay away from me! What on earth's the matter? It's him! Oh god, I'm so frightened! Wait a second. Trilby is the one you're so scared of? Of course! Who else could it be, for God's sake? Madam, I don't even know who you are. Why are you so afraid of him? What do you think he'll do to you? I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm so scared. But I just look at him and I feel like I'm going to faint. Janine, listen to me. He's not with the Order anymore. He's lost his memories. He won't hurt us. I promise. We need him if we're going to open this door. And once it's open, we'll be able to get into the hub. Yes, the hub. Okay. Let's get these wheels turned. Uh, could you just... Could you stand between me and... him? Sure. Why isn't it working? It worked last time. Maybe the fuse is blown. You've got to fix it. Please, I have to get in here. Okay, okay. I'll take care of it. Okay, she's talking about seeing through a mask. And being used to dirt floors and blood everywhere. Isn't that normal? I'm pretty sure she's possessed by... Yeah. John Defoe. That would explain why she's so scared of Trilby, right? Because... Or would it? Kinda. I mean, you know, Trilby confronted him. 
Maybe, I don't know. Hmm. Oh wait, it's here. All right, now we finally get to mess with the electrics. I don't know much about electrics, but one of the fuses definitely looks burnt out of me. Uh, b burnt out of me. Yeah, one of the fuses is burnt out of me. That makes sense. One of the fuses definitely looks burnt out to me. Oh, that is indeed what the staple is for. It's to bridge the gap. By the way, quick tip to anybody at home, never do that. Fuses are there for a reason. Their purpose is to blow up, to prevent something from being destroyed, and horrible things from happening. If you bridge it with something that is, well, more permanent than a fuse, then it's really, really unsafe. Remember, kids, don't try this at home. That ought to do the trick. Perfect. Don't suppose this door is magically opened? Mm, nope. I feel like I'm gonna go back and find out that they're, like, they've both been murdered. That's my hunch, I'm calling it right now, they're both gonna be dead. Where's Janine? She went on ahead. I tried to stop her. But she just ignored me. Come on! <laughs> What's this? Who are you? We are doormen. Our task is to stand here, always. Did a woman pass through here? Yes. Why didn't you stop her? Our task is only to stand here. Not to monitor who goes in or out. Okay. Are these clones? What? Are these clones of me? Uh. Yeah, I think so. Am I a clone? Yes. Ah. I did consider it as one of the likelier possibilities. It explains pretty much everything. Shall we continue? Uh, sure. Are we going in? I'm scared. You don't know what to expect? I've seen what's in there, on the security camera. It's just a bunch of ancient ruins. But I don't know. It's like what Janine talked about. A completely irrational fear. Janine may be in danger. I know. I know. Okay, let's do this. What? Mr. DeCabe? Janine? What? What's going on? Where am I? Theo? Are we in the hub? I think so. But this isn't the ruin I saw. I know this place. John Defoe. This is where he lives. How do you know? Because this is where I destroyed him. Where I thought I destroyed him. Where I tied his spirit to his bones and set him ablaze. But that was just a movie. No, it... Look out! What the hell was that? What's happening to the walls? No. Not you. No! What? Janine, wait! Do you understand, Theodore DeCabe? No. No, I do not understand. I don't understand why I'm being put through this nightmare. I don't understand the things I'm seeing. And I don't understand why you can't give me a simple, straight answer. If straight answers are what you require, require, then I will accommodate you. The house you saw is called Defoe Manor. It does not, however, physically exist. It is a construct of John Defoe's mind, a manifestation. So why the hell is it here? When John Defoe died, his mind and body went into his house. When Trilby burnt it down, 200 years ago, 
He assumed that both were destroyed. But the infection of the foe's mind clung to the ruins, and to the very land on which it stood, even while his body burned away. The Order of Blessed Agonies built his facility around it. Measures had to be taken, however, to ensure that the infection would not spread. What measures? Let me reiterate what the cultist asked you. Why was Samantha Hardy employed to clone Trilby, of all people, multiple times? I haven't got a clue. Clues you have plenty of. Think, DeCabe. Why Trilby? Okay. To act as guards for the complex? Uh, no. <laughs> That's obviously not it. Because Trilby is important to the Order's prophecies? Well, yes. He is instrumental, and he, they said that uh, the prophecy had been delayed by, what, a couple hundred years? And if he's integral to the prophecy, and the prophecy has been delayed a couple hundred years because of the events that happened at, what was it, the Clan Bronwyn Hotel? Then, yeah, they need to keep him alive in some capacity. He knows the most about John Defoe. That doesn't make any sense. John Defoe is scared of him. That does seem to be true. But why would they need to keep him around for that? No, it's because he's important to the Order's prophecies. Prophecy does not shape the future. It merely offers a window into it. And there is a more practical reason. Really? More? Is it because John Defoe is scared of him? Why do you say that? Back there, in the manor, as soon as Trilby was removed, everything started going berserk. Indeed. For a wraith, being crammed back inside your rotting bones is a traumatic and painful experience. To then be shot down and set alight, unable to die, to feel the constant agony of body and mind reduced to ash. Until then, John uh, Defoe feared only his father. Afterwards, Trilby was, in his mind, the embodiment of pain. And his mere presence acts as a ward against Defoe. Trilby was, from then on, utterly immune to Defoe's corrosive influence, although he never realized it. And only with the constant presence of Trilby throughout the complex could the evil of Defoe's mind be restrained within the hub. But... The tall, thin man, the one with the coat, he's the head of the Order, right? Correct. Why does he keep killing the Trilbys? That I do not know. But I do know that the more of them that die, the further Defoe bleeds into the surrounding complex. You may not have long. What will happen? Defoe is a creature of monstrous violence. Samantha Hardy's fate, I fear, was only the beginning. Oh god. Is Janine alright? Perhaps you should find out. Janine! No. No, not again. No! Janine! Open the door! Janine, please! Please open the door! Janine, for God's sake! Open the damn door! I'm sorry, Theo. I know. I'm just so scared. I know. It keeps happening. I don't even remember going into the hub. You blacked out? I was waiting for you outside the door. Then I was... nothing. And the next I knew I was in that room, in front of you. I'm scared out of my mind because there's something... something trying to take me over. Look at me, okay? Nothing's going to take you over. I'm not going to let that happen. I can feel it all around me. Watching. Whispering in my ear all the time. Janine, just hold me. Something tells me not to. I ignore it. Something tells me I'm taking advantage. I ignore it. Something tells me to stop when it starts to hurt. 
I ignore it. Evil raging outside our door. We comfort each other. Through love and pain, we bond. By the sixth day, we would both be dead. Day 4. July 27th, AD 2189. So, what is it now? What are you doing? No! Janine? Well, that's one hell of a start or end end to the f the last day. Poof! Wow. <laughs> People weren't kidding when they said this is one of the strangest actually no, the strangest game in the series. It definitely is. I really like it though. I freaking love it. It's very strange and there's a lot of the story elements coming together. Coming to a head. But so far, it's still making sense for the most part. Wow. I just love the way the story's being told. It's so cool. Yeah. Alright, well, this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Before I get into anything more... Involving as it was before. It's hard to find a natural end point for this. It's the most natural end point is usually at the end of a day or the beginning of a new day Because everything kind of ramps up to some sort of climax at the end of each day So I'll save the hunt for Janine for next episode All right, I hope you've enjoyed so far and I will be back soon